Look who it is. It's Murray. It's the merman. Are you put out? Are you put out? Hmm? Am I bothering your napping? <laughs> okay. It's us. You're not going to believe what we're doing. We got a kooky idea. Murray's going to nap. No, he's not. He's going to chase me around. I guarantee you he's going to be, I'll probably fall when I trip over him. Hi, welcome to the Furry Murray Network. I know, I'm just laying here relaxing, kissing on dogs. So, thanks for joining us. We're glad you're here. We have gotten a lot of new subscribers, and we are so excited that you're with us, checking us out. And if you haven't, why not? Hit the button and hit the bell. That way you get a notification and you know right when we um, put a new video up. So today uh, we came up with an idea. It's kind of wacky. So bear with us and just kind of hear us out. So um, most people that know me think I'm borderline OCD, if not full-blown OCD. I'm pretty organized, pretty, you know, always prepared and, and like that. So, I have always thought I had it together for in an emergency, having things for the dogs, having their food, their shots, their um, medication, the leashes. I know where everything is. Uh, I'm not the kind of person where you say, um, I need a rubber band, I need a paper clip, I need some scissors, I need some tape. I can hand you that in a split second. I know where things are. And so I've always felt like I was really prepared. And we decided we were gonna do a video to help others get super prepared like we are in case of an emergency, right? Well, guess what? When we went online and printed off some checklists about emergencies and uh, preparing, we realized that we're not prepared. We're not ready. We thought we were, but we're not. So, I realize that I'm staring over here, but I think I'm supposed to be staring there. So, I'll start staring there. Probably thinking, what is she looking off at? So, anyway, we thought we were prepared. We print off the checklist, and we realize I'm not. And I was really shocked because I really thought I, you know, pretty much have it together. I'm ready. Wouldn't take me a few minutes to do that. So then I start realizing, yeah, I've got this, but it's over in this room. Yeah, I've got that. And that's in that drawer. And yeah, I've got that. It's in the garage. And I think, you know, if it was an emergency, if the power went out, um, say we had a snowstorm and the power went out and all of a sudden we got to grab our stuff and and go to a hotel, a tree fell on our house, and we got to try to grab some stuff and go. Um, these people that had fires over in California, and they, um, you know, they thought they were good, and then it gets past the barrier, and they said, oh, you know, it was so fast, we, we didn't know. So, there's just all kinds of things that can happen. Hurricanes, tornadoes, you know, who knows what. But, you you, you know, you're supposed to be prepared and you need to be prepared for your pets too. Uh, it's just going to make life for you and them and everybody easier. So, um, anyway, so that's what we're going to talk about today. And what we're going to do, which I think is a little, a little wild. I don't know. We'll have to see how it's going to go. But what I was thinking is just people that like me that thought they were ready, or maybe they know they're not ready, but they think, ah, it's not that big of a deal. What I'm going to do is just, bam, that's why I'm, I'm in my PJs, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm not like setting up, cleaning house, preparing, organizing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, bam, now. It's the emergency. You've got to be ready right now. And I am going to run around. I'm not going to edit. I'm not, I'm going to keep the camera rolling the whole time. And I'm just going to see how long does it take me to get everything together on the checklist ready to go for an emergency? Or am I not even able to get it all together because I can't locate something? So we're about to see what could happen. And so I think it'll be interesting. Uh, I learned something. I need to get my stuff together, um, even though I thought I was together. So stay tuned. 
because we'll be right back and it's gonna be go. And we're just gonna be rushing around and you're gonna see us going from room to room, trying to find what we need, get it together, and we're gonna time it. So maybe if you wanna put it down in the comments section, how long do you think it's gonna take me to get everything on the list? And will I be able to find everything on the list? And I'll put a link, but the list that we're going by is one that's on the CDC website for pets. So that's the one we looked at several and that one uh, encompassed several others. Um, it, it seemed like it was the most thorough one. And um, so anyway, uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll see who, who was closest in determining <laughs> just how disorganized our organization is. Be right back. All right, here we go. First thing is um, vaccination records. Okay, they used to be right where I could lay my hands on them, but because this is just like how it is, it's in the garage. We've got all these boxes out right now from Christmas decorations. So let's see. to do like it might be in um, emergency times right so this is how it would really be I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking why am I not seeing their stuff why am I not seeing your stuff it's always right here in big folder giant folder actually shouldn't be able to miss it. starting to get upset but I felt wait but now I lost my list okay okay I've got it this is all Murray and Sophie's shot records everything okay move okay that was okay okay so photocopy of Records, rabies, vaccinations, medical summary, prescriptions, uh, heartworm. Okay, photocopied registration, that's in there too. Pet description, that's in there, we know that. Recent photograph, waterproof container. Okay, for documents, we are going to get the ziplock back. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. Well, we could take it out of the folder. We'll just pretend like that would work. Okay. Uh, microchip information, that's in there too. Your contact phone number, address for your family, friends, okay. Water, food, and medications. Two weeks supply of food. Um, stored in waterproof containers. Water. No spill food and water dishes. Okay, so let me get. Um. There's one collapsible bowl, two collapsible bowls. Come on, hurry, move. It's an emergency, hurry. Okay, collapsible balls. Okay, we're good. 
see. Okay, and then it was food. So I'm gonna take one of these bags. Get Marie's food. Move, move, move. Okay. Oh no, we just used the last of the bag that was open. So we gotta open a bag. Okay. Okay, I need, your scoop will take too long. I need a cup. Get a cup. I'm gonna stop there because I guess technically I could have just grabbed the bag. I didn't think of that. See, it was an emergency. So we'll just leave that be. We've got food. Okay, what was the other thing? Uh, what are we gonna okay. Water. So, okay, because we are always ready to go on emergencies, dad was in the military. We had to have a bag ready with passports and water, things like that. So we're always ready. So I do know what that is. And I do have a big jug of water. So, okay, move, Murray, move. Okay, that's heavy. Okay, okay. So there's a big jug of water. Okay, so what else did it say on there? Had medications, I think, but you're not taking any medications now. Uh, manual can opener. We don't have any dog food in a can. Feeding instructions. Two weeks supply of medication. Uh, one month supply of flea tick. Heartworm preventative. Okay, we gotta grab that. Leashes, collars with ID and harness. Okay. that was move move Sophie you're gonna make me fall okay so the heart guard and what else did I say oh the leashes they've got collars on they always wear collars so where did okay so here's the hook from the leashes okay come on okay, okay hold on Hold on. Okay, so we got that ready. Okay, so what's next? Uh, cleaning supplies for accidents, paper towels, plastic bags, disinfectants, pet first aid kit, a carrier. We don't have a carrier. They don't get locked up. Bedding, blankets, towels. Okay, so let's get the um, paper towels. Plastic bags. Okay. Just glad the ones right off the kitchen cabinet. We're in an emergency. We're not gonna fiddle faddle. Okay, so there's a couple of rolls of paper towels. Said bags. So we'll grab this thing out of Ziploc bags. Put that right there. And then what else was on the list? Um, to, to, to cleaning supplies, disinfectant, pet first aid kit. Okay, let's see. Again, emergency. We'll grab the one that we have right here. It's not near enough though, so we would have to go find another one. And we need the pet first aid kit. Move, Murray. Move, Murray. Oh my gosh, where is it? Uh, oh my gosh, oh there it is. First aid kit. Okay. Okay. I got that there. Okay. Let me see. 
しい。You guys gotta know, you're probably thinking I'm not organized, but I promise. I had a Y2K emergency backpack, and when hubby was in the military, we had backpacks with things ready to go in emergencies overseas. So, with a little cash and passports and some water, things like that, for, and a few things for kids. Okay, so there's some towels. Okay, let me see. Cleaning supplies, accents, paper towels. Beds, first aid, toys, leashes, collars, ID, food. Okay, the one thing that we don't have, and I'm sort of cheating because I thought about this one in advance, was they said you need a picture of your dog. And we all got pictures of our dogs on our phones. But they said, hey, what if you lose your phone? What if you drop your phone? What if your phone runs out of power? It's an emergency. You can't get to a charging station. Now you don't have a picture of your dog. So, I was thinking about that, and you know, most of us, we don't print pictures very often. And the first thing I thought of was to grab those two pictures so that I had pictures of the dogs. And then one other thing I wanna say that was on, uh, I don't think it was on this list. I think it was on another one. Um, but it was talking about your vet's name, phone number, information, and all that. And I thought about that, and it's like it's in the phone, but it goes back to the previous thing. Do you know how to contact your vet? Do you know his exact name and the address and the phone number and the website and email and all that if you lost your phone, if your phone went down, if you didn't have power? So, but I think that's all on the records that I have here. So I think, I think we did it. Let me stop the camera and see how long that took us. Hi, I'm back. So that, that took us just over 12 minutes. It was at about 12 and a half minutes. Um, there was one thing that we flat didn't have and that was a carrier. And we had them when we trained them, house trained them, but they outgrew those. And since they always roam the house, we didn't buy more. So we we just don't have any anymore. We, we got rid of those because they didn't fit in them. They were too small. So we don't have that. So one thing that we did not flat have on there. Um, honestly, it, it was faster than I thought. I thought it would take me a little longer. The one thing that I was surprised about is I always know right where the records are. I, I can walk right to them in a split second, but because of Christmas, we had all these boxes out there, um, from taking out ornaments and things like that. And because our son had moved in and we had moved, shuffled things from the closet they normally are, but Hey, that's okay. Because right, this is, this is the sample of what would happen in an emergency. Everything's not gonna be where it is, but that took me longer than anything that I expected because normally I know right where that is. Um, but I did think afterwards, uh, we do have um, like a 
baby gate, uh, dog gate. And so I was thinking that probably the thing to do since we don't have a carrier, if we're not going to buy a collapsible carrier just to have around for, you know, an emergency, I, I, I the thing to do would be to grab that puppy gate. That way we could have something. Um, but anyway, I was rushing. I know it didn't seem like it on the camera. And this is, I, it, I know you were looking in weird spaces, but, um, I, this is what I had my phone strapped to my chest. So you were seeing, uh, and it does move a little bit. So that's, that's why you were seeing what you were seeing. But anyway, so I know now that I need to get it together. And I think it does make sense for me instead of trying to locate all that to get some kind of, I don't know, maybe a clear backpack or, um, just just a backpack and uh, make some copies in those Ziploc bags of just the annual shot records and a couple of things like that to put in there. Um, just, you know, and have a couple spare toys. It's not like they don't have extra toys. It's not like, you know, but maybe to have the backpack sitting there ready to go with the shot records in there to where maybe I can, you know, the food is pretty quick. The water's pretty quick. Maybe even leave the collapsible bowls in there. Maybe leave the first aid kit in there. So it's a little bit faster because can you imagine, I don't have any little kids at home, but can you imagine if you was in an emergency and you was trying to grab the kids? Of course, the first thing you're going to grab is your family and your pets and maybe some photo albums or something. So can you imagine if, um, you know, you were trying to grab kids and um, stuff for them too? That would just be a... I, I don't even want to think. Anyway, it was faster than I thought. It was interesting. I hope you've learned something. We'll put a link to, um, where is that? It, it's, um, it's at cdc.gov, I believe it is. Um, this list um, was from National Preparedness uh, Department of Health. It doesn't give the exact email, but I'll post it. Um, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I thought most of the stuff made sense. So um, we'll put it on there and um, you should get ready. I'm definitely learned a lesson and I'm going to get ready. So um seems like there was one other thing that I was going to say. Hmm. I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it. Um, if I think of it, I'll add it on. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe. You never know what we're going to do next. We've got kooky ideas, so um, maybe you'll um, learn something or get a giggle, if nothing else, about us shuffling around. No, when I rewatched the video, I could see all the, do the dogs were, you know, trying to get in on the food, and and uh, they're always underfoot, so that, that wasn't surprising at all. But um, anyway, um, Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give us a like if you uh, learned something from this. And be sure and hit the bell so you get notifications on our up and coming uh, videos. Have a great day. Bye. Go hug your dog. Hi. Well, uh, the reason I'm popping back in is I remembered what I forgot to say. And that was, I did change my clothes. I know you're probably like, wait, she said she was in her pajamas and that she was laying there and she was going to do this in a split second. Well, I got to thinking how my house shoes, I would have been on the floor calling the uh, 911 um, if I didn't put on some clothes and get my tennis shoes on. So I did do that. So, in case you were wondering, I swear I didn't prepare anything, but I did change into actual clothes just in case something happened. So, okay, just filling you in on that little detail. We'll see you next time on the Furry Murray Network. Go hug your dog.